Hi, I'm Dr. Stan Kucher, and I'm here to talk to you today about the exciting research that has now all come together related to this work. This is the Mental Health and High School Curriculum Guide. Now, many of you may know it, and hopefully many of you are actually using it in your classrooms, which is good, because the data is now in after a number of years of independent research studies, and the data are pretty amazing. So I'm just going to share that with you. So first of all, we find that for both teachers and students, when they use this resource, this curriculum resource in their classrooms, it's designed for grades 9 and 10. The teachers take a training program for one day, it can be done during a PD day, they learn how to use the material. All the material is already sitting on our website. Every lesson plan for six modules. The teachers learn the content. They download the lesson modules and they use them in their classrooms. That simple approach. What have we found? Well, we've done a number of cross-sectional studies. We've done a number of what are called prospective cohort studies where we follow people over time and we've done randomized control trials which is the highest level of evidence and across all of those studies conducted in different parts of Canada and in different countries we are finding the same results so it doesn't matter where the work is done the outcomes are the same which is great because that means that this resource can be used anywhere in Canada and we will expect to get similar results. So what are those results? Well, we find that mental health knowledge improved significantly. Now remember this is for both teachers and for students. That stigma goes down significantly. Indeed, maybe even more than many so-called anti-stigma programs show. And third, that help seeking efficacy, knowing when to get help, where to get help, and actually intending to get help, goes up. And we find that these improvements are sustained over time. That is, after the intervention finishes, the improvements persist, which is fantastic. That's what we want to have. That's the impact of mental health literacy. Some brand new research coming from different countries is also starting to show that the general mental health status, the well-being of students and teachers improves dramatically if you've received the mental health literacy resource compared to young people and teachers who haven't used it. This is fantastic. If we can replicate that finding in other locations, we will have pretty impressive comfort that not only does mental health literacy improve in both students and teachers, but that this simple application of a classroom curriculum resource by teachers in everyday classrooms to every single student will actually improve many aspects of their own mental health. Frankly, I'm gobsmacked at the results, way beyond what I had anticipated. The nice thing about this is it's easy to use, it's very inexpensive, in fact, all the resources are free on the website. All that we have to do is have a teacher trained in how to use them. They're pedagogically familiar, teachers use the material like they do for any type of teaching that they do, and they work. So that's the good news. Hopefully, you'll have a chance, if you haven't been using the resources, to check out the section in the educator component of our website, find the resource, download it, have a look at it, and let us know if you're using it. Thanks very much. This is Dr. Stan Kucher.